this is Sound Out here with the preview packaging review for Power Rangers RPM Full Throttle Ranger Gold. Yes, they exist. Yes, they are out, but only in certain locations. And when something like this appears before it appears in places like California, that scares me. But I'm also very giddy. Giddy like a little schoolgirl in Japan wearing a skirt. That's getting creepy, isn't it? Anyway, uh, with the target, because someone said they found gold and silver. I was like, oh my god! I also found the, uh, the, uh, this guy here. Um, who I'll review soon. Anyway, you can see all his parts are around here. There's gold. He does exist. Um, unfortunately, I, they only had one case, apparently, because the guy that found, um, Mystery Ranger on Ranger Board, I want to give you a huge shout-out. Uh, he, anyway, he, uh, he found, I think he found silver, too, but it's two golds and one silver per case, uh, so I only found gold. On the back, you can see the stupid skateboard rangers and their features. Then you can see Jim and Gemma. Where's Gemma? I want Gemma. Come out, come out, wherever you are, Gemma. Because you have to get complete this collection here. Uh, as you can see, the Zord, the Zord caster over here, um... This actually comes with two, but there's silver mold plastic instead of the blue and gold shown here. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Stay tuned for an awesome review of this awesome figure. Okay, I'm not going to brag. It's going to be a, a pretty normal review. You know, last time I did a music review uh, for these full throttle figures. Maybe I'll do one of those in the future. So, Tonic Sense is out saying, stay tuned. Hello, this is Sound Out here, back with another Power Rangers review. This time with the Power Rangers RPM Full Throttle Ranger Gold. Oh my god, I can't believe I have this figure. I, I just can't believe it. Can you believe it? I can't. Now, unfortunately, at the Target I found this, it was 6 dollars I did not find silver as somebody else, Mystery Ranger on Ranger Board. Thank you for letting me know, because now I have half of the Jim and Jim duo. Since there are two golds and one silver in each case, uh, yeah, didn't get silver. But, got gold. You know, it's funny. I called the Target and asked them. They said, no, we don't have gold nor silver. And then I went there anyway. And guess who I found? I found gold. Now, gold, Ranger Gold here is Jim, the, uh, whose sister is Gemma, who's silver. Anyway, so hopefully I'll find silver someday. 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 Now, gold here is very nice. He uses a different body mold than the other male Rangers in that he actually is a little bit smaller. Uh, it does come with a sticker. I left it in the... I left it in the package, uh, just because it says RPM Ranger Gold with engine cell. You can't barely see that. He's holding the sky shift blizzard. Now, anyway, so you can see here, gold is very nicely detailed, kind of a caramelish color on these boots and helmets, but very nice overall. Um, nice G symbol, kind of like wings, and his, his harness, nice belt. Stops about halfway, so does the rest of his detailing. Yeah, kind of disappointing, but hey, Gold Sharpie will fix that. As you can see, his boots nicely detailed there, and on his arms. So, very nice, uh, as you can see. Nicely detailed head. The mold for the stripes is there now, so awesome, right? Alright, so for articulation, Gold, his head can rotate 360 degrees. Arms can rotate 360 degrees at the shoulder, move in and out, like, all the way up. They can uh, bend at the elbow, rotate 360 degrees at the elbow, the fin getting and cutting off your finger. Legs can move out, legs can move forward and back, legs can bend at the knee, legs can rotate 360 degrees. Very cool, very awesome, Ranger Gold. Alright, so you can kind of pose them without anything. Now... Of course, what Power Rangers figure does not come with accessories? Exactly. You can't answer that question, can you? Mainline, I should say. Mainline. Mainline. Mm. Alright. So, for accessories, it comes with the mini villain. This time, of the theme of the... 
gonna say female version of Tanaya 7, but that'd be totally wrong. I meant Japanese version of Tanaya 7 from Go Launcher. Uh, very nice. Um, interesting. I'll say, I noticed the, <laughs> that, that's kind of weird. Um, in, I know Bandai has to design these toys a year and a half out. And a year and a half ago, I think we knew what Tanaya 7 looked like. Oh, no, we didn't. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. This figure has been waiting to come out so long. It's hilarious. Now, he comes with two Zord casts. He comes with the one for his uh, chicken copter. With this little landing gear. Very nice. Uh, unfortunately, silver and not the yellow shown on the back of the packaging. All right. Here. Uh, the goldish color. I'll get some more of that. He's having issues standing today. Jim's had instead two ne stood two ne next to next to two explosions today. All right, uh, tail rotor. The rotor can actually spin, which is awesome. Um, very nice. He also comes with the whale zord cast, which is very cool. Uh, not blue as promised. It's just Bandai, but. Hey, I'm just glad to have the figure. Uh, so, you can launch these guys from the little case that Gemma comes with. But she's not here yet. Where's Gemma? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Alright, so, you can see here. He also comes with his Sky Morpher. You can even see that the buttons are molded on there. Nice little control grip. Even a little, tiny little G symbol. Wow. This piece is really detailed. We go on... Uh, so I, call it, I call it the go-on-wing symbol, but uh, that's pretty much what it is. And everything's like all there, it's all the little details. It also comes with his cloud hatchet. Uh, it's a little bit bent because of the packaging, but... Wing symbol, all the little knobs and triggers. Uh, and that's all these different things. It seems so complex, and it's actually so simple. Um, very nicely detailed in the handle there. Now, the Sky Morpher, uh, it can be store on his belt like so yeah now what's interesting is there's no hole on the side of his belt this time which is you know, kinda weird it shows you this is a different body mold now you can also hold the sky morpher but really no use for him holding it without the cloud hatchet that's right we'll get into that now you can hold the cloud hatchet very nicely looks very good holding it Unfortunately, the switches don't flip, but that would require a Metacom figure, and they don't make Metacom for Sentai, especially last year's Sentai. So you can man in some cool poses with just the items separate. Now, you can get them into some cooler, way cooler poses with this Skyship Blazer. Little peg, little tab. Bam! Skyship Blazer. Take that. Yeah. So, Skyshift Blazer, sweetness at its best. Now, a lot of people like the designs of Gold and Silver, both Sentai fans and Power Rangers fans, which makes this figure very nice. And if you're a Go Longer fan, or Go Longer, I don't know, you're a fan of that series, and you feel the Sentai hero lacked the articulation it needed and the weapons, this is for you. As with all the other Power Rangers RPM figures. Unfortunately, we're never going to get articulated Shinkingers. That's what something I would want. Because I'm a Shinkinger fan. Oh. Let me fix him in a pose that Kia could actually perform in real life. Now, it looks very nice with his teammates. Put him here. Dylan. Alright, Dylan. Ziggy, who kills Dylan. Uh, Summer. And Flynn. And finally, Scott. Where's Jimmo? So anyway, that's pretty much it for now. Till next time, this is Sound saying goodbye. Jimmo, where are you? I need you to help me complete my...